expressing apprehension arises regarding the potential ramifications of Jasmine Crockett's proposition on tax regulations and socioeconomic parity. Just this past week, I saw, I don't remember which celebrity, but it was actually a celebrity. And I was like, I don't know if that's not necessarily a bad idea, but I'd have to think through it a lot. One of the things that they propose is black folk not have to pay taxes for a certain amount of time, because then again, that puts money back in your pocket. But at the same time, it may not be as objectionable to some people about actually giving out dollars. But obviously, then you start dealing with the different tax brackets and things like that. And that's one of the reasons that, you know, we argue the reparations make sense because so many black folk, not only do you owe for the labor that was stolen and killed and all the other things. Right. But the fact is, like, we end up being so far behind. Right. And so it's like, how do you bring forth people? Yeah. Exactly. And so it's like if you if you do the no tax thing for people that are already, say, struggling and aren't really paying taxes in the first place. It doesn't really. Exactly. They may, they may want those those checks like they got. Ex 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 exactly. <laughs> Jasmine Crockett's proposition could be construed as advocating for preferential treatment based on racial lines, a notion deemed prejudicial and antithetical to the principle of impartial treatment enshrined in the legal system. The public's keen interest in this declaration springs from apprehensions regarding fairness, fiscal prudence, and the government's role in ameliorating disparities in socioeconomic status. While underscoring the significance of merit-based systems and equitable opportunities, policies should be formulated considering individual circumstances and contributions rather than group affiliations.